plateaus have a height average height of uh, 4000 to 6000 meter from the mean sea level deccan plateau is an example of a, one of the oldest plateau in india where we live we, uh, in the world even the deccan plateau plateau is a land flat surface where which is very much enriched with minerals as well as we can find the uh, settlement of people also over there in a high high uh, proposition as as this at the same time it is good the plateau black soil is good for agricultural purpose also plateaus are very uh, useful uh, for the people for us to live uh, tibetan plateau is the highest plateau in the world we are coming to the plain plain are the large stretches it is not uh, like plateaus compared to plateaus plains are must vast areas large stretches of same elevated land plain plain land not more than the elevation of 200 meter from the mean sea level this is very much useful for agricultural purpose as it is plain transport and for the settlement of the people this is the best place to settle with all the amenities of life that is needed to live a better life so plains are very much useful for us in india we have uh, the india uh, we have the ganga indo, indo gangetic plain as well as the brahmaputra and ganga also made the northeastern plain in india all the rivers whatever the river valleys we can find whenever they are touching the um, touching the ocean in the ocean mouth or in the sea we can see that the the area is the, for the river adjacent areas are plain so that is the reason from the ancient time we, we have seen that people settle down in the river valleys in the plain because they are most suitable for people to settle to carry their business and have a very good life why we need how they are helpful for us let us come to mountains we have seen we have three types of mountain i told you that mountains are not that suitable to live in there are many other uh, hindrance that uh, as the slope the elevation is not same people cannot carry their transport facilities of most often and even with the height of the mountain the weather also climate also that is changing sometimes it is really cold volcanic mountains are not suitable for people to settle because of the risk that any time the lava magma that can come out that can sprout out but even then we can say that mountains are very useful for us mountains stand as a guard if we see the example of himalaya it is actually guarding the northern side of india at the same time it stop the cold wind or the warm wind to come and enter the country and to control the climate it stand as a climate controller also the third point the third most important point for the mountains we can say the mountains are the place where most of the rivers originated from the glaciers that are situated in the mountain so if we need river we need mountains we need to preserve mountains also the next one we are coming to plateaus plateaus are also very helpful for people people are settling down there the black soil in this plateaus are helpful for uh, agricultural purpose as well as these plateaus are very much enriched with minerals which we need to develop ourselves and our countries plains i as you know that the plains are the places where mostly the all major cities are located the transportation system and the life basic amenities of life is e easily available in the plains plains are enriched with the rivers as well as the gravel the rivers are carrying to the plains so as a result it is very good for agricultural purpose also so we mostly 
more than this mountains and plateaus we can see people as brave people prefer to settle down in the plain areas so life is difficult in mountain areas though we have seen many of the hill station in the middle middle height of the mountains middle ranges of the mountains we can see several hill station but even then plateaus and then the plains are the most suitable place for people to settle down let us recapitulate this lesson once what are the major landforms we can uh, find in the are they are mountains plateaus and plains and what are the difference uh, between mountain and plateau mountain height is too high it has conical peaks but in the, at the same time plateaus have a flat region and the height is not that much suitable for people to settle down have some basic amenities of life as well as very much enriched with minerals and easy to get them next we are coming that were different type of mountains different type of mountains we have seen fall mountain block mountain and volcanic mountain fall mountain can be of young fall mountain and old fall mountain that is new or old young fall mountain the example will be mount Ever uh, himalayas and uh, Old Fall Mountain in India, we can see the example as Aravalli Parbat. And then the Block Mountain, in the Block Mountain, yes, we have the Satpuras. We have uh, the example of Block Mountain. The Black Forest in Germany also is an example of Block Mountain. Volcanic Mountain, Vesuvius, Fujiyama in Japan, Vesuvius in Italy, they are the example of uh, Volcanic Mountain. We are coming to the plateaus areas. Uh, plateaus, as we have said, that it has a flat region, though the elevation is more. Uh, then the how the plain are from the plains are formed by the deposition, river deposition, mainly the alluvial soil. By that the plains are formed. They are the height is the elevation is not more than two hundred meter of the mean sea level and it is very much useful for agriculture the plains are thickly populated because of this agricultural facility and the basic amenities of life easily available in the plain areas so life we can find mostly all the river valleys and the plains they are thickly populated the uh, mountains at, in, on the contrast we can see the mountains as the basic things in the life is very tough to get there the transport facility and all other things so we can see that and due to the climate also climatic condition also we can see that mountains are very thinly populated that's all for this chapter thank you